Welcome to Unpower and Peoples with Renee Malay. The show is about depth of any conversation that will be held here, as real as it is, because we are about realness. From relationships, religion, marriage, faith, philosophy, economy, politics, you name it all, honey, any subject matter that concerns you, and of course, good vibes. We are here for it. Now stay tuned for the next coming episode. Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to On Power and Purpose. Joining me today is my favorite human being who has impacted my life positively and helped me shape my life to be much better. I am so, so excited, <laughs> very, very excited to introduce her to my show. She's a businesswoman, personal development and leadership. She's a speaker, EQ coach, TV producer. She's a preacher. You can name it all. She does it all. She does it so perfectly. And today we are going to be discussing uh, waiting on God's promises because I feel that it's so hard for so many of us to remain still in the word of God and what God has promised us. So welcome me again. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm heavy <having> nerves. <laughs> I'm glad to be hosted by you, actually. Oh man! And I'm looking forward you. to the conversation. I'm, 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 I'm trusting and I'm believing that it's going to be a good one. Well, I am believing so as mm -hmm. well. So, um, that's just been one of the days in my life where I thought that it's so hard to carry on when God has given you a word on where you're going to be. Mm. How has that been for you in growing to be the person that you are today? I think first things first, it's understanding um, why God created me. Mm. Um, because f f for me to get to a point where I understand that, it means that he hasn't in, in created me to encounter pain mm. necessarily. Mm. You know, um, he has created me for his purpose and his purpose um, is to give me life and life everlasting mm -hmm. and 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 God is, is is a loving God I mean he, he can't get to a point where he puts me in a situation where it is to honestly um, make my life miserable mm -hmm. so to wait upon the Lord um, was easier because I had to go back to the basics I had to go back to God's Word and find out what are his plans for me, you know? Yeah. Um, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Um, and then he continues to say, those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, uh -huh. you know? Uh, shall, they shall mount up their wings like eagles, you know? Mm -hmm. They shall run and not grow weary. So reading God's word has actually put me in a position where I would say, I need to start being obedient to what he has written upon mm. my life. And for me to wait uh, means that everything else that comes from God, I could feel it. I, need, I needed to also search um, how God communicates with me mm. and how God wants to build me up. So mm. me understanding that the rhythm of my life and understanding how God communicates with me gave me hope to can even say listen um, I need to wait and operate as per instruction mm. and instruction of the Holy Spirit because most of the time I would do things by myself and when I go ahead of God it doesn't end well yeah, it never does so we need to be mindful of the fact that when God um, has ordained a certain path for you there's a plan in place you know, regardless of how much time the building process takes, um, but the, the latter is worth the wait. I think you're saying it is because, okay, so I've had a moment where I've, I've heard like suicidal thoughts and I'm just like, I know what God has for me, but this is so hard. So in your journey, have you ever encountered the challenges that has made you to feel like, you know, I might as well just give up. Mm. Or can I just 
I, if I could just wake up and die, it would be much better than what I'm going through. Mm -hmm. Have you encountered that? Yes. Well, I have. Um, I think it was in my 20s, okay? Uh, because at the time, normally when you have those thoughts, it, it's, it's when your identity is not necessarily clear. Mm. And when your, your, your vision is not necessarily clear, you've got an idea of what you want. Mm -hmm. but it's not as clear at the time mm -hmm. so there is so much in place that is in your mind that you can't even put to put, put a finger on it to go to actually this is what i want and this is how i'm going to do it so at the time obviously your know, depression takes place mm -hmm. um, um you know bitterness takes place mm -hmm. and you know hate of your surrounding takes mm -hmm. place and you feel like you know what it's it's hard and I do not even know what to do. So, ubanale mm. mind block, mm. you know. Um, I think um, at at that time, obviously that was an option to say, uh, uh, I think I'm useless. Mm. Okay, um, and 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 I, I don't know what am I ever going to be. Mm. But for me, it was because of the area that I was at, mm. and that. Um, I needed to understand what to f pray for and desire at the time mm. for God to bring me help and help that is going to challenge my thoughts to help make me realize that it's possible mm. you know I needed to change environment I needed to explore and experience certain areas where I could say that is what I want to learn mm. you know and it started uh, giving me hope as to it is doable. Mm. Um, I think the suicide, suicidal thoughts and also depression and the likes were triggered by lack of knowledge and understanding mm. of what it is that I want to do. So normally when you've got that type of confusion, it, it really frustrates you. Mm. But when you've got your things in order, you are able to run the race up until the end. Mm. So because I then had to change environment and... Um, Obviously, at the time, I also wanted a very intimate relationship with God. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was, I felt like it was just too far. You know, there are certain things that I needed to take off me, which is the worry, the fear, the hate, mm -hmm. the self-hate, the hate of surrounding and the likes, the blame game of blaming parents, blaming, um, uh, you know, family and the likes. Mm -hmm. um, so that also had a negative impact in terms of, uh, being productive as an individual um, I had to learn to take off that to go to if there are certain things that they couldn't do that I had desired It's not their fault. They, they, mm. they could only do what they could only do mm. But going forward, I am responsible to shape up, you know, mm. and, and being the woman that God has designed me to be um, and and of course the journey was not as easy, but it was worth it you know, mm. I had to travel uh, that journey with, with confidence. I mean, I, I even had to get to a point where I, I sat down and started reflecting that, listen, I, I need an intimate relationship with God and I need to stabilize myself. And particularly the calling that I had had when I was small, and I need to talk about this. Mm -hmm. um, I needed to go back to the inner child. Mm. The inner child that was receptive of the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. the inner child that was instilled certain um, attributes and ideas of, 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 of what she could be. Mm -hmm. um, and you must remember at the time, because I was not listening to noise, I was not introduced to everything uh, of this world, uh, it was me and God. Mm. When you're young, as you a child, clear that, yes. Oh wow! Okay. When you're young, you are clear, but not necessarily having the tools or equipped enough to can mm. implement. But I think the vision was actually clear. The Holy Spirit had had deposited that which was clear because I would normally see preachers on TV and desire to be like them. Mm. I would see myself teaching. You know, mm. I would see myself being a businesswoman, wearing suits, going to this of a place and that of a place. I would see myself hiring people. I would see myself doing projects mm. and the likes. I would see myself speaking on a stage at a young age. Mm. So though that vision was clear at the time, you know, and obviously 
um at the time i wouldn't have uh, but I, I don't know where to start yeah i don't know what to study mm -hmm. and 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 but obviously um at a later stage of my life i had to just go back to, to remember what was god communicating with me on when i was a mm, child when i was still a child you know uh, i need to feed on that i need to make sure that i enhance that which has always been there and that was an original planting mm. of the seed and 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 looking at my life now i am living that you know because mm. for me to have encountered issues of being broke issues of you know not being able to pay this and that you're not having food and, and it's like, a lot obviously guys. <laughs> it was just a Yo, it was it was hectic. It, 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 it you it's, you get to a point where you cry sometimes. Mm. You you know you, sometimes you December diva dry. Mm. You 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 want to buy your kids this, but you can't afford it at mm. the time because wow, there's no money, you know. But um, like I said, me going back to to search for that child and find her helped me a lot to even get to a point where. Um, even even in terms of studying uh, the areas that I had to study, you know, the courses that I had to study. Also getting to a point where uh, I also have to, on top of that, do my uh, ministry um, education, mm. you know. Because for me, it was bigger than anything else mm. in my life. I mm. needed to understand the Word of God. I invested in going to school, Bible college, sorry, for one year. You know, to study the word of God because I had to, f to, what's this? Enhance the ministry that was within mm. me. And God kept on saying, "Yes, you have studied marketing. Yes, you have done uh, media training. Yes, you mm. you are an accredited personal development and leadership coach." But here is the thing: I want you to. Oh yes, you've you've done business management, mm. but I want you to get to a point where. You. You, you 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 stabilize your foundation mm. and you need to respond to your call because mm. this is where your life is and i had to invest in that because i thought to myself for me um this is more than gold mm. and mm. god kept on saying behold i'm building character when i'm done with you i'll save you well done and the world will recognize that which i have deposited within you mm. behold behold throughout the year i was having one message from god Mm. behold a building character and I stood firm I went there I had to give up everything and, yeah. and focus. how old were you by then um, how old was I I think I was 20 huh? <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm asking because those are the ages where the society expects people to start building like you having to give up everything and then now here's yeah. what the society wants from people that at this age you should be having this and this and this and this and that i think i was much older probably was i 30. what or, uh, yeah i think so i think i was 30 or or 29 i don't know wow. I, i'll just have to calculate backwards <laughs> so so here's the thing I, I i get what you're saying yes society expects uh, this and that from people but i think i had to get to a point where i said i don't owe society jack mm. okay yeah um i owe myself to be honest about mm. my own creation and i owe myself an authentic life because if I were to listen to what society is saying, I won't be able to listen to what God is saying. Mm. There's so much pressure and you would operate um, at a very desperate point because you want to fit in mm. or impress society. I had to write them out to say, listen, you, you are not going to tell me. But I am going to listen to the instruction from above because I understand the latter and I understand the promises mm. that God has upon mm. my life. Yeah. Because there's people who can walk in that saying that I give up everything. But the thing is this, that I think we need to understand what waiting in God really means. Because there's so many people who are like, I'm waiting on God. I know I'm going to be that. Mm. But at the same time, they go date sugar daddies, you mm. know, just to get means. How is that for a young child who wants to live an authentic life, but financially they're just not... 
like they feel that they need to have this and this and this and that and they're from different family backgrounds yeah. you know and the only way to reach to that goal of giving up they need to survive through sugar yeah. parents really i'll tell you now i've 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 been in a situation where I think for a good, uh, probably only three years that maybe money was there, mm. but I wouldn't say riches because, mm. f to be honest with you, I've never been with a rich man. Mm. The one that I would say, who this guy is taking care of me, he's doing this, he's maintaining lifestyle and all that, mm. you know. I've spent, uh, if not more than eight years, or if not uh, yeah, uh, in a relationship mm. uh, that w okay in that in that in the in those years obviously there was issues of financial challenges, mm. but I could have chosen to say, this man does not have money. Mm. Let me go and find somebody else. Mm. I mean, someone would do that, and obviously you would get people saying, no, but why don't you get a man that's got money? But I was like, no, the problem is not necessarily that. Mm. The problem is that I need to understand me and how I want my life to be. Um, it shouldn't be necessarily financed by the next person. Mm. Okay. Um, if 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 um, we ended up parting ways, but my prayer line started changing because my prayer line was not God give me a husband that has money. Mm. Yes, I would, I would really appreciate having someone who's got their ducks in a row, mm. you know, things in order. But the prayer line had to change. God had to, had to place me alone for a reason. Mm. Because he said to me, you need to choose whether you want this or you want that. Mm. But you need to be mindful of the, the person that you are and the gold that you house mm. and how I want it to come out. So I'm going to place you in your singleness so that I work within you. And your prayer item is not going to be, I want a man. Your prayer mm. item is going to be, Lord, fix me within. Mm. Fix my finances. Fix this. Fix that. But pertaining to myself. Mm. So that I realize wholeness. And that the day I decide to say, Lord, now I'm ready. Am I suiting for the person that I desire? Mm. Of course, I would be suiting. Because that's where I'm supposed to be. So... I think also the up, uh, how society has raised us as women is finding um, a lifestyle or, or, or comfortability or homes and cars through mm. marriage. But that is wrong because the same power that a woman has is the same power that a man has. Mm. So I had to understand creation, first of all, to say that I don't think God has created me not to have. Mm. God has created me to be sufficient, self-sufficient, to mm. have all the cars that I want, all the houses that I want, mm. all the money that I want, and travel as much as I want mm. with my money, you know. And and I had to travel that journey. Hence, I'm saying it, it took me a while to get to that point to say, but, but it's not about having a person hold up in terms of dating because you're going to end up compromising mm. to standard. Because at the time that you haven't built yourself up, and you are not whole. Anybody that dates you and looks like they can, you would say yes. Mm. Even though there are certain attributes that you don't like about them, mm. you know, you would say, no, it's fine. Ugh, it's Try an 80 20 rule. Mm. And the likes. But if you allow God to build you up to wholeness, you are going to attach so much value to self mm. that you would say, listen, I understand you like me, but I don't think it's going to work out. You know, mm. uh, with pride, of course, you know, G mm. get to a point where you do your life by yourself and afford your life by yourself first. But that's mm. not what we are taught, you know, taught to depend on a man. Yes. So, so, so that is one thing that I had to challenge the status quo and say, this is the journey that I'm going to travel. Mm. If I go and push a trolley and buy myself groceries for three grand every month, let me do so. If I have to pay, pay this and that, let me do so. Okay, mm. um, I, I, I needed to, 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 to actually, like I said, change um, the, the, the prayer item and focus on me, you know. Mm. Sometimes we are not patient enough with God to build us up to a point where 
we are what we deserve to be with. Mm. 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 So then that becomes a problem of trying to find options. Because somebody might say, no, it's not easy. Yes, it's not easy. Yeah. Uh, like I said, it's not like I haven't been chucked out of places that I couldn't afford. It's not like I haven't... Uh, got to a point where sometimes I don't have food. It's, and it's, not in that moment you've ever thought of a sugar daddy or no, a rich boyfriend. No. Because if mm -hmm. had I thought of somebody who had m money at the time, because look, like I said, I was with a person who didn't have money. Mm -hmm. And I could have chosen to say, uh, let me find one that has money, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, but I realized that it's okay to have someone who, who has money yeah. as long as I have it, <laughs> yeah. you know, and as long as I am not empty to be filled by someone else. Let me exercise um, my, you know, my rights to be as wealthy as I want to be mm -hmm. and let me uh, claim my inheritance from God and mm -hmm. live accordingly, you know. And, and not be apologetic about what I want from God. Mm. Um, sometimes people pressure you, but particularly men. When somebody says, no, you need to, let's date. I just like you. I'll take care of you. I'm like, that's not what yeah. I'm, I'm here for. I and think, we fall for that. Yes. I think um, also this thing of practicing a lifestyle by yourself first. I mean, if a man takes me to a restaurant, it's special, but it's not... Um, it's not foreign, yeah. you know, it's not something that I'm not used to. Mm. I dine by myself, okay? Mm. I take myself to places and I, I look, I had to practice that mm. um, because sometimes you you might fall for a guy because he's taking you to places that you've never Yo, been and you I've are regarding there. that as love. <laughs> And you are, because you are empty yeah. and, and, and somebody is introducing you, to you something that is, is, you've never done. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just simple things, but because you don't do it to you, for yourself, mm. it's like, oh my God, he loves me. And a simple thing, like taking yourself out for a date and already they, they win your heart, get mm. a simple plate. Mm. You know what mm. I mean? Mm. So yeah, I, I do get what you're saying. And in, in terms of being a leader, in a male dominated uh, industry how has that been for you in terms of being are you respected enough as a woman um, do they take you serious do they like what are the challenges on and the experience that you mm -hmm. have with it um, I think before uh, I would say a couple of years ago it was a totally different uh, uh, approach altogether because you know you are a young businesswoman who wants money of course that's mm -hmm. what we want um you would uh, pitch to a client that then finds you very attractive and you know uh, try to pursue you mm -hmm. and pursue you in a manner that is not necessarily respectful respectful but um very undermining you know you want to invite me for dinner um you want to invite me to come to your place i had to allow myself to be broke at the time by saying no i'm not doing so dinner with you had clients that were like i'll give you this if you come to my place um i've had a boss actually that did that to me when i was oh, employed God would say to me i know you love at the time one series was the best car in the world in the mm. land he would say to me i know the car that you like so if you you know what to do you and i had to allow myself to lose my job and you know at the time because society is very i don't know i, I don't know even how to label society very abusive mm. um when you're unemployed they would regard you as you would be laughed at and people wouldn't understand why you are in the position that you're mm. in. But I had to allow myself to lose my job because I couldn't sleep with that guy. And I was never going to compromise myself to keep a job, mm. you know. Um, and for the car that I was driving a company car at the time. And for a, they took it. And uh, for what? that car that he had promised, I didn't even want it. They took the car. They she he he called it. He pulled an HR uh, director on me to come and discipline me for some useless things 
and they had to Just release me. You said no. Yes, and I had to go. So, and then with regards to the business, uh, when when guys would tell me no, um, you know, come through, let's do uh, let's do this over, let's talk overnight. I would tell them off, and they're like, no, but you are the one who want money. Yo. Um, I'm like, I don't care. You can keep your money. If it means that I am going to compromise myself, I'd rather, I'd rather not. There is no man that could come and claim that, listen, that one, she has this because she compromised herself. Mm. People that work with me know my principles mm. and know how firm I am. Mm. And if I were to date a guy, it would be because I want to, not because I was trading off, mm. you know. Yeah. Um, so for me, uh, I had to sit down and start crying to God and saying, Lord, this is a lot, mm. you know. And I had to pray about it, you know. I had to bind that spirit because it's a spirit. Mm. And going forward, God was faithful enough to send men that look at me as a very smart woman. Who adds mm. value I started doing business with men that really respect me yes mm. you, you might be attracted but um, and I don't blame somebody who might have a crush on mm. me or anything but um, I would get respected still mm. we would work still you know I wouldn't be treated as a tool and you know when we work we work and excellence is, is realized in that mm. regard so it, it has been very easy for me Right. You know, uh, because of the spirit that I dress myself with, and because once you start with one client, you must know it's 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 it's, mm. it's over for you. You are gonna do it. You go, you are gonna have to do it with every other person. Mm. You know. So I had made that promise to myself, and I thank God for for that protection to say, mm. um, let my work speak for itself. Yes, I might be a pretty face, but not a pretty face that is wants to be child by the community. Mm. No, guys, how That's forward. because you want a job. <laughs> how, uh, no, that that is the, I find that the most disgusting and disrespectful thing to women, mm. particularly those that are only doing it for for them to have the life that they deserve. So on top mm. of a woman working hard, when you want to chow her or when a piece of meat, now yes, you know yes. relationships would rather end contract with rather and I don't care you know mm. because I don't want to adopt such a spirit I, I, I once lost a, a contract or rather a deal that we had with a client just because I couldn't give him what he wants okay, you know? and the worst part is you know someone who is married you know so I'm thinking to myself when I want Della and like, mm. like why How because you even see me as a woman yes uh, um, don't, don't, don't you dare! That will never happen. For if you think money is power, I'll show you that I house power. Mm, mm. And your money is not gonna uh, come over the power that I house because it's more powerful than the money that you have. Mm. You can pull out your contract. I don't care, but I'll get another contract that is ordained for me specifically. Mm. So um, a whole lot of things will come. But I'm, I'm one person that doesn't get tempted. I decide. Mm. I decide what I want to do and I do it. Mm. I decide what I don't want to do and I don't do it. And I think that's also because you don't work from a desperate point, like you said. Exactly. And, and also, people must be mindful that when you are whole, there is nothing, mm. absolutely nothing that would shake you. Nothing. I don't care who says what. Mm. Because at the time, even if I mean, I've survived a whole lot of things. Mm -hmm. What more? Yeah. The things that I've survived, I don't think people, maybe someone that's not as strong as I am would be able to survive it. That probably collapse. Or more probably, but the palpitations, or hospital, I'm admitted for two weeks. And I think that's a thing, because we look at Nibone and we see a very successful person, but we don't know what, like, what really caused her to be Nibone. And we, we want Miboni's lives, mm. we want what Miboni has, mm. but we wouldn't even stand on work, working on the path that you've walked. Yeah, but also I need to speak about that. Mm. Um, when you hear someone tell you about your journey, and I remember I was having a conversation with someone uh, some other time to say, what I went through, you don't have to go through. Mm. You don't have to whatsoever. Mm. Because the 
the footsteps or the journey that I've traveled mm -hmm. should be a lesson to help you develop yourself personally mm -hmm. and make sound decisions going forward. That's true. You can't say you need to go through pain before you succeed. It's not about that. Why mm. do people rejoice in suffering first before they realize blessings? Mm. Can you look at people that have traveled the journey and say, I do not want to be like that. Mm. Refuse that journey. Well, you were saying, I think I'm just learning so much. Um, and here's what I've got it all together. Don't give in. You know, wait on God's promise. Um, don't give up on your goal. Know what you house. Oh my God! Listen! <laughs> um, the fifth one is be patient. Mm. Uh, the sixth one was, okay, the one that we just recently just spoke about, which you're going to still continue on. Mm. Right. So yeah, you can go ahead. Okay, where was I? Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I speak a lot and I say quite a number of things. About finding the spirit. Oh yes, 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 that. Um, that's something that is, is very important. You must remember that God, God has given us power to decide what we want and what we don't mm. want. And of course, according to his will. Us understanding um, why God has created us um and 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 uh, we would be able to then realize that certain things are not from god mm. Mm. we are not we didn't allow ourselves to be properly guided mm. and we didn't give ourselves time enough to 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 spend with the lord and say mm. lord fill me up till i overflow yes fill me up to a point where when i go to the world i'm fully out mm. We go to the world empty. empty and anything that comes has got like some young negative impact, mm. you know, some young pain infused here and there mm. and, and, and. So it's, it's, it's a problem because we don't exercise our rights as co as with Jesus. Mm. You know, we don't exercise our rights as children of God for that matter. We are spiritual beings, we are in the spirit world, we need to fight in spirit. Mm. And because once you just go without having the right tools, you are going to be beaten here and there until you you have to go back and say, Lord, I get back down, I'm missing something. And obviously because, listen, there is noise obviously of age and all that where at a certain age, you need to attain certain things um, so that the world sees that you are successful. Who cares? Mm. Who cares when you have got those things but you are empty? Mm. Right? For me, you'd rather build yourself on a solid foundation and let God fill you up, uh, you know, uh, so that when you go out there, you produce the fruits that you house. Mm. Mm. You are not operating. At a point of pressure, mm. you are operating at an appointed time. There's a mm. difference. Mm. An appointed time can never be taken away from you. But pressure, you make Yo. mistakes. Can you repeat that? An appointed time can never be taken away from you. Wow. When God says, this is your time for harvest, it is. It doesn't mm. matter what happens. It doesn't matter the pandemic. It doesn't matter mm. um, age and the likes. What mm. matters is God's promises being performed upon your life. Okay. And God does not bless desperation. I've been desperate so many times. Mm. Not for the Lord, for things. Mm. But then they were not coming. Because God said to me, but no, no, I'm not done with you. Mm. At all. If I give you those things, you wouldn't be able to use them to my glory. Mm. You wouldn't even know what to do with That's those true. particular things. That's you will true. have them because people your age are having them. Mm. But you, you are chosen for a different purpose. Mm. I need to deal with you from mm. within. You need to house power. Mm. And when you house it, you produce power. 
Speaking of that, it reminds me of something you once said that there was once a woman who told you that you need to go work, you need to have money for a man to respect you. Yes. How do you respond to that? <laughs> I, I said to, the, to, to, to her that, listen, I, I think I'm not going to listen to you. S straight in her face. In fact, I said, what would happen if you lose your job because you are appointed by somebody else? Mm -hmm. You don't run a company. Mm -hmm. You might lose your job. Does that mean you must lose respect? Mm -hmm. They were challenged. I said, I refuse to listen to you. And then now I've been very stubborn and people know for a reason. Because there's a whole lot of people who try to speak over my life and tell me what to do, tell me how to plan. I'm like, but you guys, you must sit down. We are all God's creation. What gives you the power to tell me things that God hasn't told me? Mm. Why would you say to me, uh, why? And the other thing that disturbs me is people that saying start small and measure your small. Hey guys, that I've is heard something those. that I have been fighting with people yeah. for a very long time until they realize what I or in JK. I would say don't tell me where to start. You can tell me to start small. Mm. But if I haven't chosen you to mentor me, please don't give yourself a seat where it's not you. Yo, guys. God has placed people in our lives for a purpose. Mm. If there is someone that I'm consulting that has traveled a journey where I want to be. Because mm. remember, spirits attract. If, 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 if you meet someone and say, this one can take me far with the wisdom, understanding, and knowledge, mm. and with the good spirit and with the heart that they possess, then you stick to that person. And every time you have conversation, you realize growth. Mm. That's what is important. Um, so so somebody will just come out of the blue because they are told how they talk, speak the truth. Mm. Your truth is misinformed, first of all. Your truth is you walking around advising without knowing. Mm -hmm. Why do you advise people without asking what they want, what they do? And also, let people approach you first before you go and say, listen, I want to mentor you. How? Kanjani, bro. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Allow people to pick you. Mm. Don't pick people that have got no business following you. Because mm. we as people, we like forcing people to follow us even though we, they are not supposed to. Maybe mm -hmm. they're supposed to follow somebody else. Mm -hmm. What you like, what, what you attract will come and tell you that, listen, I like you. And I feel like uh, we could go somewhere together. Mm. You know, so so I think with regards to the small part, I had to say, but but the Holy Spirit has revealed a different part, mm. a different kind of small, my different kind of small, mm. and I'm not going to be apologetic about my different type of small, because people like seeing people doing the littlest things. Now you have to sweep the road yeah, because that's <laughs> where you start. No, honey. No, let me go and start at my small. Mm. Sweep the road, uh, plant people. I'm just yeah. saying th those type of things, but don't. don't. All the, the sufferings that you were talking about. Yeah. Now you must suffer before the success. Mm. People must stop. Now you must uh, have a very toxic relationship before it becomes successful. Because before you you go to the next level, but the testimony, my dear, that the testimony, guys. Huh? So even places where you are not even supposed to talk about the bad side, uh, you 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 want to encounter pain so that lo and over that guy. Yeah. Oh, Lynn, that guy is yo. It's been bad. Yes, it's been bad. Yo, and I've seen what's about mm. no. Someone once asked me, why aren't you in a relationship? I said, because I have to wait. Mm. It's not like people are not hitting on me. They are plenty. 
queue ya sasa a whole lot but they don't qualify mm. because there's certain areas that i check and remember for me to get to a point where i had to pray to god to fix me up and deposit all the elements that i require fill me up heavenly father you know mm. to make me a woman of character you know was because now i i wanted to be in a position where i decide mm. what i want and what i don't want within my power mm. i would say no i don't want you i don't care whether you've got money but probably Uh, your lifestyle is not matching mine or mm. probably what the spirit that you serve is not aligned to what i serve mm. so i can't be compromising those things mm. you know probably you don't have respect but you are a handsome man and 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 but i wouldn't go there because i'm not mm. in a position to place myself to fixing a man mm. or to do that uh thing that we do as women or marapello to change ah i was not appointed for that I am so <laughs> a man is going to lay his hands over my head. Yeah. A man is going to pray for me. A mm. man is going to speak life to his family, his wife and kids. That's mm. the type of man. I was saying the same to this girl that I feel that we in a generation and we are from a generation where we have to date boys that we need to take care of. Mm. And you find so many married women who are like Oh men are like kids you must just take care of them mm-hmm. but I, I always refuse to be in a relationship with someone who's considered a child mm-hmm. how are you going to lead me if you are portraying traits of a child how and we want to be led by those kind of people mm-hmm. but anyway that's actually uh, another topic of our next session mm-hmm. um <laughs> i'm just going to i'm just going to close it off um now um but going forward man i think i've i've learned so much in this in this topic that we've heard mm-hmm. that the importance of waiting on god that you waited on god even when you had nothing you rejected contract even mm-hmm. when you had nothing you said no to this client even when you had nothing mm-hmm. all of those things were done when you had nothing of it's course. not like you had a choice to say that oh but i have this amount of money mm-hmm. then you can go but you did it when you were broke you did it when you had nothing you mm-hmm. did it when you had to put a shelter you know on for yourself you did it when you had to buy food and all of that so it is possible for people to say no to sugar that is to say no mm. to a toxic relationship just because you depend on a person financially mm. to say no to depression no to suicide suicidal thoughts you know and to really wait on god she's a testimony of what it is to wait on God and I really mm. thank you so much for standing firm in what you believe in for standing in God's promise because because of you we are able to walk in it with confidence mm. we are able to say that me body has made it possible i can do it as well mm. and not be tempted so it's because of women like you that really shaped the journey for us and make it seem possible mm. and we truly truly really appreciate you i am so honored to know you i'm so honored to be sitting right next to you because guys i've learned a lot like in just this one hour i've learned a lot and i'm really sure that you have is there anything that you'd like to just say before we close up okay my parting shots would be it's important to to know yourself particularly as a woman um take your time study you and master you before you do life with other people mm. So don't get to a point where you go around just bringing people into your life whilst you're just developing yourself mm-hmm. because that's where pain is realized mm-hmm. hate is realized um externalizing your problems is realized mm-hmm. so put away everything do you um and and then introduce yourself to the world and then you will pick things that are aligned to to you mm. you've had it um 
guys we honestly don't really need to learn from always suffering mm -hmm. yeah like you don't have to put yourself in pain while there's better options and better choices for yourself you know um well thank you thank you so thank much you for, for the words me. for the wisdom for <laughs> looking into all, for your time thank you thank you know what you. i mean and i really do hope that you guys have enjoyed this postcast it's on power and purpose with rene Malay. thank you so much and bye Oh wow, thank you!